Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to read.com. Here is a watch that I really, really like. Uh, this is from Louis Monet, and this is the Jules Verne Instrument Number no. 2. Um, there are two instruments, one and two, and they are part of a limited edition of 60 pieces each in two colors. So you have uh, 240 pieces total. Now the differences between the two instruments are really, really minor. Uh, inside this watch is a Valjo. 7750 automatic movement with a module on it and there's two different types of modules one is like the one in this that has a split second chronograph and the other one has a GMT function um, so you have to look closely at the dial to tell which is which um, but they do have those different functions speaking of the modules they did a really good job um, a lot of the times you have people that take existing movements and they put things on top of it um, and it works, you know, so-so. This one works really, really well. So basically you have um, the basic uh, chronograph functionality of the Valjo 7750 um, and then you use this button right here to uh, engage the uh, Rattrapante, which is a split second chronograph and you can see that second comes out from underneath it. You can time a second time, um, put it back. It's pretty cool. Also, in addition to the split-second chronograph, the, this module gave a sort of an upgraded date function. So this subdial right here at the right is for the date. And what you can do when adjusting it is move it both forward and backwards. And it's really, really smooth operation. I really, really like that. Um, the movement is, is decorated nicely. There's a cool uh, rotor that has uh, Louis Monet's sort of signature type of engraving, which is sort of this wave pattern. And you can see that in black um, on the dial here. This also comes with a lighter tone dial. That was really, really hard to do. Um, this case is very, very steampunk. It's probably um, one of the most affordable luxury steampunk style watches. Nothing else is out there that is quite like it. The case is about just over 46 millimeters wide. Um, it's mostly titanium, there's also steel, and you can see that there's rose gold. There's actual rose gold on there. Really cool. You see this little thing right here? This is one of the coolest things of the watch and is an incredible talking point. Um, they could have implemented it a little bit better because it's hard to tell what it is. If you just saw it, you wouldn't know. But in there is a flat cut piece of stone. It's actually a piece of the moon. Now, how did that get there? Well, this isn't actually moon uh, rock that we went to the moon to take. This is moon rock that was found on Earth, and it's actually a lot more rare. What has to happen is an asteroid has to hit the moon. A piece of the moon needs to break off, and then that, that piece needs to make its way to Earth, and it needs to survive, and someone needs to find it. Really, really rare stuff. Um, and Louis Monet, some of their other watches, have other types of uh, meteorites and things like that, interesting types of stones in their watches. But that's just really cool that this watch has an actual piece of the moon in there. Um, I, I love this thing. Um, this black dialed version, in certain lights, really easy to read. In other lights, it's not as easy to read. So that's something you should be aware of um, in a piece like this. But otherwise, really cool time, uh, date, split second chronograph in this version. Uh, the other one has a chronograph without the split second, a GMT. Um, I love this thing. Louis Monet, Jules Verne, instrument number two. Retail price is in the $20,000 range, which is not so bad for an awesome piece like this. Um, you can see the full review on blog Thanks.